So, in this course, we have three means of communication. We have email, we have discussion boards, and we have online rooms. We also have chat rooms, uh, but uh, I'm hoping we can, we can use the online rooms instead of the chat rooms. Uh, the email function in, D, in direct to learn in, in our class, uh, in, our, in, our, in our course website, is at the top left of the course page. Uh, please use that uh, to communicate with me. Uh, use proper email etiquette. Uh, if, if your email isn't set up to, to let me know who you are in the in, in the sender field, you know, say who you are, put that in the subject line, make get put a give a clear subject, say who you are, um, give proper you know, sal salutation and, 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 um, and greeting. There's there's a link in the syllabus about email etiquette. Uh, we also have discussion boards. The discussion boards are uh, available on the course website. Uh, another, again, uh, there's a link at the, the, the top left of the course page. And this is where we hold class discussion. Like I said, this is an asynchronous course, so uh, class, discussion boards are how we hold class. There's also a group, there are a number of discussion boards. There's the weekly discussion board for class. There's a group member interaction board uh, that I've set up for groups to use to interact with each other uh, to prepare for the group assignment. Uh, I have an office hours discussion board where you post comments about the class, a coffee shop discussion board where we talk about casual topics of interest. Uh, please put the respective types of comments into the appropriate discussion board. So if you're just making uh, a comment on a topic of general interest, please put that in a coffee shop. If you uh, have a question about the course, put that in the office hours. Uh, if you put that stuff into the course, in the, into the weekly discussion, into the class discussion, you know, it may get overlooked. And finally, we have online rooms. And as I mentioned, we have chat rooms. If if the online rooms are 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 a bit are are at all overwhelming to you, um, you can feel free to use the the chat rooms. Uh, again, the online rooms and the chat rooms are are in the the upper left corner of of the course page. All of the communication links are there. I recommend getting in, well, I don't recommend, it's going to be necessary for you to get into the online rooms and test them out and set them up uh, for yourself uh, ahead of time for you to use it. Uh, it needs to get a, a test your microphone and your speakers and things like that uh, because it's a, a multimedia platform. And so I use the online rooms for group mem member interaction for us to have synchronous communication, for the groups to have synchronous communication, and for us to have office hours and have synchronous communication. I, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm making office hours this semester by appointment only because I, uh, I started a job where my, I have irregular hours assigned, so I don't know when I'm going to be available from week to week. I may hang out there from time to time, but make an appointment with me and we can meet uh, in, in, in the office hours. If, if the online rooms are just intimidating to you, then we can do it in the chat room. Uh, I may hang out there from time to time and uh, th there might be, you know, I do get my, 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 my work schedule a couple weeks in advance, so I could uh, maybe before a major assignment is due or something say, hey, I'm going to be available in the office hours from two to five on, on this day or whatever. Uh, so you have no excuse uh, for not contacting me if you have a question or a problem.